When I pull up in the wind, they be saying God damn. When I hop out with my shawty, they be saying God damn. They never show me love, now they see I got bands, now they saying God damn. Good evening. It is about seven o'clock at night. Um, we are, and uh, I am just trying to make a video. This video was uh, warned on Instagram, so just a heads up if you uh, um, hear or see anything violent. There shouldn't be anything violent, but just a heads up to those people because, yeah. So I'm gonna try to make this quick. It's my phone's only at 20%. <laughs> but um so a suicide. I wanna make this suicide suicide prevention video just for actually there's multiple reasons why I wanna make it, but there's one main reason. And uh honestly a lot of people feel suicidal and every day people feel suicidal I don't know who I don't know who but a lot of teenagers feel suicidal all over the US and you know a lot of people adults too and you know it doesn't take a good it doesn't take it won't hurt you to take 10 minutes 5 minutes 5 seconds 5 minutes to talk to someone even if you don't know them and just be like, hey, are you okay? Are you thinking about hurting yourself? Just kind of stop them, you know? Make them change their mind. And, uh, you know, make them go positive. Don't go ahead, don't let anyone go negative because that's where shit will get, that's where shit will go bad. We don't want anyone killing themselves so young. And no one, we don't want anyone dying, honestly. We're all gonna die at one point, but. Now's not the time. Um, if anyone's feeling suicidal out there right now, just know you are worth it. You have a reason to be here. People want you here. I want you here. I don't know all of you. I don't know who watches my channel, but I love all my people that watch my channel. I love everyone in the world. I don't know you. We all have a purpose to be here, and that purpose is going to be true. You are going to stay here. There's no one that can stop you from going. To not be here. You're going to be here. No one's, no one's not going to stop you from being here. But people are going to stop you from hurting yourself. Because it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Trust me. And I'm sure people have tried and attempted. I know four very close friends that are currently suicidal. And it's hard to... Think, like I have to think every day. Are they gonna hurt? Are they gonna jump today? Are they gonna hurt themselves today? Like I have to keep positive, and not think that. And I'm there with them over the phone, over text. You know, th saying, "Hey, please be safe, stay strong." I'm saying that for a reason, and you know, you should be saying that anyway, because no matter what happens, guys, just know that you are worth it. You know, there's a saying from a, uh, a video that you're about, you're about to watch here, and uh, I'll let you know how I feel after the video. But uh, there's a video in a, one of in the lady that was helping out this man. Um, you know, the song is called "If One More Light Goes Out," and or it was called "One More Light" by Lincoln Park, and. Uh, you know, it went like, if one more light goes out, who cares? Well, I do. And <clears throat> I don't know what happened, but it just clicked with the man. But I'm not going to cover that whole video, because that's what the video is for. If one more light goes out, who cares? Well, I do. Who cares if one more light goes out? Well, I do. Now, last time, the way it was supposed to go, but... <clears throat> if you guys are interested in looking up the sign, you guys can go definitely look for it. <clears throat> Feel free to go look for it <laughs> on Google or YouTube or Spotify. It's all over. Um, it's a great song. It gets emotional, for sure. But I feel like the main point of the song is talking about suicide prevention. And you shouldn't do that. 
there are many people that want to and I cannot stress enough it hurts to see people go it hurts to see them go and even though I don't know people and the bev you know a lot at least 2,000 people jump from suicide a day or die from suicide a day nationwide I'm guessing I don't know I didn't look it up but in a moment here you're about to watch a video that I've found pretty uh, interesting obviously not cool but um, and it was one of the safer uh, videos I could post so it was legal but um, there's a lot of them out there and you know they do get emotional but this one touched me especially since the song and you know I kind of thought about it <laughs> if I was to help someone and tell them about the song they probably, they probably wouldn't care about the song but if one more light goes out well I do the one more light guys that's another sign of you we are the stars in the sky there's a billion stars in the sky, correct? Comment if I'm wrong. The billion stars in the sky, if one more goes out, we die. One of us dies. We're the stars. If one of us dies, another star dies and the light goes out. That's how that song is supposed to be presented, I believe. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how the song's supposed to be presented. So, do me a favor. Watch the video, and I'll be back with you guys in here in just a few minutes. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. DM me. Because if we can try to work together, we can make a good, positive vibe. My channel is all about positivity. Yeah, it's about lawn care, but I also swear positivity on it. It's not just for lawn care, guys. And, uh, you know, it, it hurts to see people go I'm so young. Watch the video, and I'll be back with you guys in just a second. The call came in during morning rush hour. A man sitting on the overpass on State Road 408. 911, what is the location of your emergency? I'm on the 408 heading east. There's a black gentleman sitting on the edge of the bridge. Looks like he's just looking over the bridge, like he's just going to jump off. We get calls like those 95% of the time. It's somebody waiting on a tow truck. So don't really know what we have right at that moment. Uh, people start making their way there, and then more calls start coming in. But this man wasn't having car trouble. It was much worse. And yet, hundreds of motorists kept driving, except one. I, I did pass him at first. I saw him. I didn't really think about stopping, but I thought as I saw him in my rear view, I probably should stop, especially since no one else did. Christina works in healthcare, and she almost never takes the 408 to work. But on this particular day in February, she was running late. She stopped, backed up, got out of her car, and walked over to him. I stopped because I've been where he was. So I know what it's like to stand on the ledge and think that that's your only option. He needed somebody to show that somebody cared enough to stop and enough to tell him he didn't need to do that today. The Orange County Sheriff's Office isn't identifying the man for privacy reasons. As Deputy Kayer made his way to the scene, Christina stayed with the man. There was a moment he moved forward, and I was, I did kind of move towards him, like, nope, you go, I go. To try and comfort the man, Christina recited a song lyric from one of her favorite bands. It's a Linkin Park song. Who cares if one more light goes out in a star sky of a billion stars? Like, I do. One person cares. Who cares if one more light goes out? Well, I do. And I don't know if it clicked with him, but he just cried. When Deputy Kayer arrived, he wasn't exactly sure what Christina was doing out on that ledge. But when I walked up and she had that really calm demeanor, she it looked more like she was trying to help him than them making some kind of pact with each other. I'd have preferred if she didn't sit on that side of the bridge with him. Deputy Kayer walked up and said, How you doing, man? You all right? How you doing? Oh. Okay. You okay? Yeah, all right. Do me a favor. Come on back with me, okay, so we can get on the road. The man wasn't getting away from the ledge, so Deputy Kayer grabbed him and pulled him back to safety. 
Deputy Kayer learned that the man had made some bad decisions and let his family down. And he figured that that was his only course of action now was just to end it, not be anybody else's problem. Well, you gotta just keep trying, man. Think of what this can do to your mama if you actually went and hurt yourself. It, she'd feel a lot worse. The man wasn't arrested, but he was taken to a mental health care facility. Thank you for stopping, all right? Thank you. Every day I think about him. And I haven't been able to take the 408 since. I can't take the 408. Deputy Kayer went back to work. You feel like you saved a life that day, though? I'd like to think so. Hopefully he took that as a sign or an opportunity and just kept on going. Well, I hope that video helped a little bit. It kind of made you think. And, uh... You know, it's a great video, it's a three minute video, but it touched, it touched me, it's for sure, and that's my new favorite song, guys, and that lyric, One More Light, that little section of lyrics there, I'm going to show to every friend I can, if they're feeling down, because hopefully in some way, it'll touch them and make them think, hey, God is with you. I know not many people are Christian that I know, but... You can still tell them about God and help them, but that's not my job. My job is to... I like to help anyone I can, guys. And, you know, helping young people I don't know is awesome. Yeah, it's awkward, but hey, you're trying to save a life. You're trying to make them feel better. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> that's what matters. And in this case, you know, in this case, there's a lot that I could, I could be saying about this. And, you know... <laughs> I think one thing that we can all agree on is that if one of us dies, and one light goes out in the sky. And I think that's kind of true. Obviously, it may not happen in real life, but, you know, it's a great song. So if you ever get the chance to listen to it, it's uh, One More Light by Linkin Park. You can find it on YouTube or Spotify. <clears throat> but, you know, <laughs> you... That's like the perfect thing to... It tells you about everything, honestly. And you just gotta do the best you can. I've lost a few friends to suicide in the past. Uh, though I don't remember their names. This is a long term, but... And right now, I got lost some... I got some long distance friends. And I'm not gonna say their names, but... One of them, or actually, no, two of them are suicidal currently. And I got some close friends here that are suicidal, so... It's hard to keep friends, especially when you know if they block you and the, the, the ones that are suicidal. You know, you, you're afraid that they're gonna just do it and then they block you because they don't want you to help them. That, that's never happened to me, but uh, just trying to make a point. So, if you see someone down, even if you don't know them, help them. Ask them if they're okay. Even if they're walking and they look upset and they look like they look very depressed or I don't know ask him a question hey are you doing okay can I help you with something can I make your day better how can I make your day better can I please help you in any way do you need help stuff like that because I think that is what will help a lot of people and especially sorry guys it's foggy <clears throat> yeah especially in the future um you know you just gotta do the best you can so I really want this video to be, I want there to be a point in this video. If you guys, you know, if you guys can find something out of this video, let me know because I would really appreciate it. I try hard for these kind of videos because as a community, yeah, 2020 sucked, but I saw a little bit of improvement toward the end. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> you gotta do the best you can. And, uh, we can, you know, we can only do so much. So, you know, all I ask is that you tell a friend. All I ask is that you tell a friend, hey, are you doing okay? Even if, it, especially since it's a friend you don't talk to every day and you know if they're upset every now and then, they could be hiding something. I'm not telling you to force him to tell you, but ask that friend, hey, are you okay? 
Are you feeling like you're going to hurt yourself? Can I help you? I am here to, and I care about you. And here's the other thing, too, that causes suicide. Depression, obviously. Family fights. You know, not being think that you're worth it. A lot of people are worth it, guys. A lot of people are worth it. Everyone is worth something. People want you here. People love you. People want you here. You are worth it. Um, and I've ran into several, I've ran into several, um, issues like that before, and, uh, you know, it sucks, it does, but, you just gotta do the best you can, so, try to see if you can help someone stay, make it better, and help them. Because I would. And I've asked, I ask every single day to every single one of my friends I can. Hey, are you okay? How, how are you? You know? Because I bet just that can make a difference. It may not look like it, but I bet you it can. And at the end of the video here, I'm not going to play an ending slide. I'm going to play a song. And that song is going to be One More Light by Lincoln Park. And that's going to be the ending of the video because I want you guys to listen to the song. I want you guys to think about, hey, wow, this song really means something to me. Can I help someone in the future or can this help me? Um, guys, if you don't know me, I'm Joe. And I like, to, I like to be a positive person. I like to try to help as many people as I can. And there are close friends where they've told me so many deep, deep personal things that they probably could have just kept hot, hid and probably committed suicide. But no, they chose, they had the faith, they had trusted me, that they trusted to tell me. And I told them, hey, I'm not gonna tell anyone. What we talk about is between you and me. What we talk about is between you and me. No one else finds out. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's scary. So, guys, just check up on your friends. Do what you can. I got a bunch of good college friends. I got a good bunch of close friends that are always, always there for me when I need them. Have I been suicidal in the past, probably four years ago? Yes. And <laughs> they've been there. I would say once. Not like deep, to, not like wanting to kill, kill myself, but like say things but not actually do it. But I've known two college friends that are currently still friends with me. And, yeah, they're there for me. Guys, you have worth. You have purpose to be here. Just know that. People want you here. If you don't think you're worth it, talk to someone. Talk to a counselor. Talk to a cop. They're there. You're not going to be in trouble. I really hope this video meant something. I hope I can make a point out of this video. I'm not going to I'm not gonna give you guys a 20-minute lecture, but... Just help someone you can because it really means something. It hurts me to see my friends in depression and they don't want help. I cry. I cry pretty much every time I see someone depressed and they don't want help. Mainly my close friends. But I do know deep down that they'll come to me when they need something. And they have. And I trust them. You know, if they don't want to talk from one day, hey, I'm not, I don't, I'm not in the mood to text right now. Can we talk tomorrow? Can we talk next week? I'm like, yeah. As long as you express your feelings and I know that you're okay mentally, physically, emotionally, I'm good with you talking whenever. Because that will give them time to cool down, think about what they're going to do, and probably move to something different. And it's going to be positive, not negative. And a lot of, my, a lot of people I talk to and I meet off Instagram or TikTok are suicidal or just sad and upset. And, you know... The current answer is, hey, I'm depressed, I'm going to be cutting. Or something, something, something along those lines, right? And we can only do so much. So as a community, let's try to make 2021 better. Let's try to save people's lives. And if you are that person, tell your friends, hey, God's with you. God can do so much. I know it may not seem like it, but I can tell you, he's there. Trust me, I wear a cross every day, and I know he's there. When I'm wearing this cross on my neck, I know that he's right next to me. If, I, if I'm not wearing it, I know he's still there, but it may take longer for him to recognize that I'm needing help right there than that. 
God can do anything. God is unstoppable. <laughs> and I guarantee that a lot of people can think that too. If you are believing God. If you guys want any more information on this, let me know. I can help. Yeah, no, I'm not certified to be a suicide prevention person. But I'm just trying to make a video, trying to help anyone that is going through that kind of thing. It sucks. It really does. It really does. And I cannot stress enough, guys. God's with you. Trust me. Even if you don't believe in Him, He's with you. He's helping you. Even if you don't see it, He's working. Even if you don't see it, He's working. Even if you don't feel it, He's working. He never stops. He never stops working. He never stops. He never stops working. Even if you don't see it, He's working. Even if you don't feel it, He's working. He never stops. He never stops working. Alright? Do what you can. Try to keep a better vibe. I know life is hard right now for a lot of people. Do what you can to stay positive because I bet you, you can. And you've got this. If you are struggling, reach out to me. DM me on my Instagram. My DMs are open. J.Chase2020. Okay? I'll answer. <laughs> J.Chase2020. My DMs are open. I'll answer immediately. I'm on my phone all night, every day, to help anyone that needs help. Or just wants to talk to someone. You don't have to tell me every person I need to. But I want to help as many people as I can before it gets too bad for them. I know I can't help every single person in the world. But any young person, I would be loved. I would love to help. Because I care about them. I care about anyone and everyone. You guys see me stop on the side of the road to help people. You guys see me pull up my car accidents and no one's there yet. And I hope. Do something for one. Do something for someone, and make it a positive. Guys, enjoy the video. Enjoy the song. Let me know what your opinion is. Stay tuned for uh, another video coming out later, probably tomorrow. But it's probably some business update. And stay strong. Stay positive. Make someone's day. Peace out, guys. Someone's time runs out If a 